Hello. What was that? What? Who? Who's that? That dude from The Apprentice, right? Isn't he? I don't know his name. That's terrible. Don't put that on camera. <laughs> So I'm here with Brefney Morgan, one of our stall nominees. How does it feel to be nominated? I feel fantastic. Yeah, it'd be nice to go home with a gong. And are you into stall? Is that one of your things? Absolutely. I mean, you have to make a good impression. Uh, and dress is one of the fundamentals. Uh, so it's good to, you know, show up well-dressed, well-presented in work or life. And that was an important part of The Apprentice for you, was it? You yeah. were always in your suit. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, it's a very competitive uh, competition, so you have to have everything pretty much perfect, including your style. And what does a stall nominee wear to an awards? What are you wearing today? I'm wearing today, I've uh, got an uh, Armani suit on me from Froon and Aylward, Dunleary, my tailors. Plug, uh, plug. Yeah, a little plug, small one. Uh, and a tie actually given to me by my friend Patrick Moynan, so uh, you know, it's nice to make, make your style personal. It's the small touches that, that make a difference. And i got my cufflinks, cufflinks from Henley Regatta. Uh, where I've rowed. So, I mean, you're big into rowing? Yeah, I yeah, am. Me and my buddy Peter went rowing across the Atlantic. Actually, can I bring Peter in? That's here for you. Peter, okay. come in. And did you miss Breffney on your trip? Is he a good rower? Yeah, excellent rower, yeah. yeah. Harvard. Uh, wasn't the reason you got shipwrecked last year then? No, he's not. No, no, no. no. The, the boat's rudder uh, detached itself from the boat last year. Um, this year we brought two rudders, so this, this time around it was all about contingency and making sure that we, we could prepare, we prepared for everything that could uh, possibly go wrong. But yeah, no, we, we definitely missed Breffney this time around. Um, great caliber. Are disappointed rowing. not to be able to go this year? You know, you've got to make your choices. It would have been nice to go back and finish the job, um, but obviously there's trade-offs and everything. I just saw a great opportunity with The Apprentice and, and just to go back and, uh, and cover the last row. I wasn't project manager on the first row that ended in disaster, so it wasn't, wasn't completely my fault, you know, I would have done things differently. But uh, Pete was leading the team this year and man, they did a great job, they made it across. So today is really a good celebration for us as well, we get to relax and, and indulge in, nice, uh, in a nice meal and nice, uh, nice fashion, so we're looking forward to it. Great, great. And what are you wearing today? You look very stylish after just rowing across the sea. <laughs> uh, I'm wearing... Um, <laughs> it's Froon and Aylward as well. Right, Froon yeah, and Aylward, yeah, I'll get the plug. Froon yeah. and Aylward, <laughs> Dunleary. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the best dressed Kerry Fashion Weekend newcomer is Breckney Morgan. And I'm delighted to welcome <laughs> Breckney to the Kingdom to accept his award. Thank you. Good to see you, Breckney. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Breckney. Thanks. Well, thank you very much. I mean, Woody Allen said that 80% of success is showing up. So uh, it's nice to win an award, but it's even better to be here and to be sort of praised. So thank you, it's great.